Good morning. This is Friday, October the 16th. Another brand new day. Another two weeks. We're going to be starting on. There's a butterfly down there. Miller. On the geranium. We've been working here in the kitchen all morning. And we've got 15 pints of sweet potatoes in the can are ready to go. Just waiting on the steam to exhaust. And then I'll it down and start building pressure. My sweet potatoes are all done, so I'm going to take them out to cool. There's more down in there underneath these. The sweet potatoes are all done. I'll wash the jars in the morning and take the rings off and then just date them and put them away. Larry's looking for an alligator, alligator hunting. There's a nuisance gator around here somewhere, but we don't see it. There's a pool of water down there, and Larry's hoping to see him. But, don't see him anywhere. He's splashing the water and try to bring him up to have him come to him. Alligator was a no-show, so we're on our way back home. Larry was raking the grass and weeds all up around the rose bush there, and the chickens were getting everything as he dug it up. My son David there. Hello. <laughs> I was having trouble with my computer, the contacts, so all my contacts disappeared, and they were backed up, so he got them back for me. It's yep. so, no, so nice to have a computer person who knows what they're doing in the family. Heaven is eternal life. It's Sunday John morning. 11, Pastor Caleb is preaching. She said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me, in if he hell. dies, will live. Everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? This is Monday evening. We spent the morning. We took down the fence we had there for the chickens because they can't come down through here behind the greenhouse anymore because it's open. And we moved the fence over here. See, this is the, the greenhouse here and the fence going over and going down. And it used to go from here straight on down by the coop, but we moved it out this way. And then put it along the grapevines. And so they got all this area here now. And they just enjoying being in the grass. Yeah, there's all eight of them here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Rada's over there. We found a nest in the beans this morning, but there wasn't any egg in it. And then Larry found a nest under the sink yesterday. I'll show that to you. This is just the outdoor sink here on the back of the building. But one of the black hens made a nest down in there, and she had an egg in there yesterday. I don't know if you can tell, but right down here, Henrietta had made a nest. Right there. She didn't lay anything in it, but she made it. My new pansies are just flopping over and dying, and I don't know why. So this morning I put dust on them in case it's a bug. But there's one, two, three out of seven there that's died, or on their way to dying. And they've been watered, so it's not that, and the others look nice and healthy. I had the same thing over here. There's one dead, and then there's a, one here is dead, and... One right there is dead. The others look good and healthy this morning, but I dusted them anyway. Didn't know what else to do. I got all the dead out of my out of my daisies too. Some of the older plants have died, and then these are the younger ones. So got all that dead out of them. They look better. Now he's putting the golf cart away for the night. Put the chickens up. 
you can follow this down here to this end. There's the grapevines. Need a different date. Comes Henrietta. I like the corn. Now they're closed in for the night. Larry's getting the last bit of the strips off the greenhouse so we can pull the plastic off. We took all the other pieces off already.
Henrietta has a nest in the green beans in the raised bed. She's just pecking around in there. She's not sitting on the nest? No, she just messing up the beans. Should I put her back in the pen? Yeah. She's not laying an egg, she just... Henrietta laid an egg. First one we know of. We're here at the lumber yard. We came in to get strips of wood for the greenhouse. I was looking online today and it looked like Walmart had canning jars in. So I went in and I got the last box of pint jars that they had. So I was glad I went. Well, while I was gone, Larry cooked 14 eggs. So, it's an egg afternoon. I made him some deviled eggs, and we got egg salad, and two hard-boiled eggs. I think he already ate one or two hard-boiled ones. So we got those. That's out of the 14 that he cooked. And I've still got these many to freeze. We're here at Walmart. This is Thursday. When I put in my order last night to pick it up, I didn't realize it was going to be dark when we were driving in. It's now starting to get daylight. This is all the groceries we got at Walmart this morning that we picked up. We were trying to stock up a little bit in case you never know what's going to happen around the elections or if there's going to be shortages. So just trying to stock up a little. When I got to canning jars yesterday, there were too many people in there to do the shopping. So I just got my jars and left. Looks like we're buying a... Big bags of alligator salt again. Yeah. Trying to get all my jar lids in here together. We think one of our chickens is sick and we don't know what's wrong with it. It just lays around. It's either Petunia or Pansy. Hope she gets better. This is Thursday and our lunch today is mostly stuff that we've grown. The eggs were from our chickens. The green beans were home canned. Larry grew the cucumbers. And the squash was made with home canned squash. We pulled the vines off the sweet potatoes Larry planted in the bucket. So now we're going to dig them and see if we got anything. That's the whole crop. <laughs> That's about it. Maybe we can save, save them for seeds. Well, it's not like all the vlogs we watch where they just kept bringing out more and more and more. That's the one that fell. This is the better one. That one fell quite a bit, and this one just fell in the middle. <laughs> one of these days I'll learn how to do it right. Still tastes good. Larry cooked our Sunday lunch. He cooked some of the, he baked some of the good pork loin, and that's one of the peppers he grew, and the potatoes and carrots that we canned. So it's going to be good. It's Sunday morning and time for church. Heavenly Father, I can pray for you morning and night. It doesn't seem like enough. I can come every Sunday and worship. It doesn't seem like enough. I give thanks to you, my God. I give my tithes to you. For you, as you see fit, your will be done. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. This is Sunday, October 25th, and we're here Looking for the alligator, Larry Sawing. He says he's not too big.
get behind me. I was going to see if you can shoot him. Six and a half, seven foot. Must be him right there by the dock. Got Larry the rod and reel. Nice tail. This is a Newsome skater that's too close to our friend's house. Let me get the gun in case you need to shoot him again. Is he right there close? Here. I gotta find out where his head is. Is he over here toward the bank more? Over to the right? There's his head. Did you get him in the brain? Did you get him in the brain? Like Larry got him right in the brain where you have to shoot him. Is there enough meat to make it worth Steffi's while? Taking the alligator to Stephanie. She likes the meat. He's, a, he's about six foot two. That's a six foot table that he's on. I want to rinse him off. You want to rinse him here. You got to do it easy. Don't splatter it everywhere. Just do it lightly. Yeah, Mom. Get How do you do that? Squeeze it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, Mom. It's easy, not too hard. Get all the grass off of it. It's going to be alligator meat in the freezer tonight. Oh, I don't like this person's car. We're on our way back home. 
It's 405 and 82 degrees. Fall will get here one of these days. This is end of October. Now the chicken may be better. We're moving it to the front yard so it can come out of the cage if it wants to. Now I took it out of the big cage and put it in the little one to move it. Her comb is really pale yet. Well, she looks livelier than she did. We're just going to let her go for a while. Larry put a lot of pine straw mulch around the olive trees. Henrietta has taken a liking to Larry. She likes to jump up on a golf cart and ride around with him. Larry and I were riding around a while ago and she hopped up and sat down between us. Like to have you for dinner. Would you like to have her for dinner? No. Girls just like you. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> Can't make a cobbler like that. chicken is still sick, but I think she's a little better. She walks around a little more. Saw her eat a worm a while ago. I got an apple cobbler ready to go in the oven as soon as the oven heats. I made it out of my home canned apples. So we'll see how it works out. My apple cobbler is done. I made a little sweet potato casserole out of my canned sweet potatoes. I just had, just used a pint, so we just want enough for one meal. So that should be just about enough. And my sweet potatoes are done. My rose is blooming again, and it, it's pretty and it smells so good. It was a really a pretty bud yesterday, and now it's full open. Larry let the front grass grow to seed, and now he's mowing it again. Open the seed will come up and make it thicker. This is one. 
Wednesday and we're going on our way to a friend's house that has a nursery. He might have some big totes that we can get from him. We're taking the back ways by the swamp. Ooh. I guess they still need to do some work here. out of the weeds there and there's a copperheads. I was engaged to a woman I used to keep um you know Louise telling me Oh that's scary. Anyway Thing is dry now. mulch in the bottom of all three tubs. potting soil. So there is potting soil, black cow, sand, and bone meal all in there he's mixing together. And a little bit of peat moss. This is for the plant the garlic in. We got the garlic cloves in there to soak for two hours. And these have already soaked and we've got some, the holes punched and two, four, five planted. We'll plant the others after they soak. And this one's all planted and got the mulch on top, watered and mulched. We got our Danvers carrot seeds in here. Now he's sprinkling a little more sand on top. water on them. The garlic is all planted, watered in, and the mulch on top, so it's done for now. Same way with the carrots. Give you an update on how this big tomato is growing. It's coming all the way out through here. You can really see the green tomatoes now. Look at that clump right there. have to be bringing this into the greenhouse like if we can move it and then it goes out this other side too all the way out through there that's one tomato plant and it's got lots of blossoms too Here 
comes Larry on the squeaky golf cart. Looks like our olive tree might be getting some new leaves. The chickens have been getting out of this chicken yard every day. We put them in, turn around, be one or two out, sometimes more. But usually a black one and Henrietta there would get out. But we finally got enough this morning. No, none's been out today. We got pipes and buckets and just to hold the, the bottom of the fence down so they don't go under it. That's what they've been doing. Because when the chickens get out, they come over here to the garden and eat all the broccoli leaves. So we decide we need to keep them out of here. They can do a lot of damage quick. We're starting to have hope that uh, Petunia will live. She's been up walking around this morning. I'm picking up pine cones so Larry can mow. He usually does it, but I said I'd help him today. But look what's growing over here in the grass, so neat. Not sure if they're fungi or toadstools. First I thought they were growing on the tree roots, but it looks like they're just growing in the grass. I mowed right over the top of that one. I just thought it was neat. Wednesday evening supper, we got green beans, hamburger, onions and mushrooms, and three cheese potatoes. We're getting some wind this morning from the hurricane. Is that a... Some webworms off the pecan tree again a few days ago. Larry's out doing his morning chicken chores. I picked this fig. I think there's one green one left on the tree and that'll be the end of it. But it's unusual to still be having figs in October. It's still deer season and there's hunters over there with guns. You can see their orange hats over to the right. And just a couple more trucks pulled up there. There's somebody with a hat and a gun. That right there is where we see the deer cross sometimes, so I can sit here and see them cross. So it's a good spot for deer hunting. This is Friday morning, October the 30th. And our sick chicken is looking so much better. We're gonna let it out here. It's cool this morning, and cold front came through. <coughs> All right, you ready, girls? You ready? Huh? All right, you ready to come out? Yeah? Okay, come on. Okay. Okay, now you can go. Come on. Oh, she's out. Oh, well, look at her walking. Boy, it's a miracle. <laughs> nice to see her have her tail up and not just be squatted and not moving. She might pick her up or Mm -mm. She's on the other side of the fence from now, the regular chickens. Well, she must be feeling good. She's yep, there one came one off the nest.
broccoli is looking healthy and standing up. We put sticks yesterday. It was leaning from the wind. It looks good this morning. More carrots are coming up. Yeah. Here's the garlic we planted. Got some spinach up. A few carrots. I'm trying my hand at making yeast rolls again today. These are as soon as the oven gets hot. I'll put them in. They've been rising. Got another dozen here. I sprayed the I guess I didn't spray enough. It's sticking to the wax paper. And we'll have some good yeast rolls for lunch, hopefully. There. There's one of the rolls. With home with homemade sorghum on it. Mm. Yeah, someone gave that to us. There was four in that pan, so we're eating those. And I got this pan left. They're not as pretty as I hope, but they taste good. We've been calling these oranges, but they're tangerines. And we're going to can them this morning. Got them all peeled. Got to put them in little jars. These are the ones that we picked out of the backyard a few days ago. My tangerines are all canned. I got 12 jars. They're half pints. But they look really pretty. I'm happy with them. I'm just cleaning up the kitchen now and listening to the sound of them sealing. The popping is really nice. I like to hear it. Remember it was yesterday when I picked up all the pine cones so Larry could mow? This is the next day. Can you see how many are fell again? All out there. But we don't have any pine cones down there because those big, two big trees are gone. That was the trees that made the great big ones and lots of them. For supper night, we got fried potatoes, uh, broccoli, cauliflower, carrot, medley mix, and chicken salad. Well, this is the last day of October and time changes tonight. And tomorrow will be the first day of November. No sunset to speak of, so I'll just say good night. God bless. Mm -hmm.